Welcome to On The Beat everyone, I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me today is Robert White of Robert's Apothecary. And yes, we're gonna go there. We're talking about women's health. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Good to be here. Okay, well, let's get into it, can we? we what can. are some of the signs of the three stages when it comes to menopause for women? Well, you have perimenopause, which occurs before menopause, and then menopause, which is then the absence of menses, and you have post-menopause. Okay, well, what are you recommending for women when it comes to a woman experiencing these symptoms? Well, they can have their doctor do blood tests to check their hormone levels. Right. Or, That's the first thing you should really do, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, if their doctor's not doing that, uh, they can get from me a kit, a saliva kit, right. and we can check the hormones. Estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, DHEA, and cortisol. Levels. Okay, so they come. I just want to stop you there, if you wouldn't mind, just so to be clear. They can come in, get the test kit, yes, take it home, home. do the test, yep. and they bring it back to you, or do they mail it? Mail goes to a lab, okay. and the lab will send me the results, and then I'll make recommendations. I'll send the results to their prescriber, nurse practitioner, okay. or physician, and we can. Customized well, hormone program I like for that. them. Yeah. I like that. Okay, yeah. what are some of the other things? Well, we have estrogen that we can supply. Yes. Uh, we have pharmaceutical strengths of the natural estrogen as well as natural progesterone. Uh, there are also man made synthetic chemicals that doctors prescribe, as in estradiol. Uh, I have several creams that can be used. They are progesterone creams, absorb well through the skin and help with hot flashes, night sweats, mood swings, bone strength, uh, just replacing hormones after their ovaries quit producing like they used to. Why is it that this symptom or this issue comes up in women? Because it comes at any age. Some women, it happens in their early 30s. Some it does and some not until they're in their mid-50s. Right. So it varies widely. Is there any way that we can put it off, or women can put it off, like by taking things to begin with to help that it doesn't come so quickly? Not really. It's just but a natural... when it comes, then we can treat it. Really? Yes. And how long does it take to treat? Is these treatments going to be f for the rest of your life? Uh, as I have explained to many ladies, <laughs> the longer you take the natural hormones, the longer you're going to be more youthful. Okay, so this is all also about life experience and life changing as well, like the way you live your lifestyle. Right. Correct? Yes. yes. So, and there's lots of foods that can help you along this way as sure. well. Sure. You talked a little bit before about the saliva kits. That's an alternative as opposed to going to the doctor to get anything done? Right. Okay, so right. you were saying how many of this saliva kit, how many symptoms is it checking on? Well, we check the levels of estrogen, yes. progesterone, testosterone, DHEA, and cortisol. So once a woman has found these issues out that they may be going through, do they come to you or is you really do have to go to your doctor? Sometimes it can be handled with just low dose over the counter medications. Well I ask you these things because you know we're two guys sitting here talking about women's issues right? Yes. But there are also women out there that just don't understand some of these symptoms that they're having right? That's right. So they need to be able to be aware of what is possible for them. Yes. We appreciate you. We you always give us great information. <laughs> what were you going to say then? We can make the world a better place. Well, that's what we like to hear, my friend. <laughs> Thank you so much, Robert. Thank you. If you want to find out more information, there it all is up on the screen for you. We've been chatting to Robert White of Robert's Apothecary.